welcome you all in this video we are going to uh, solve the problems related with the mechanical rotation system okay uh, we know that mechanical rotation system is having three basic elements such as inertia and uh, rotational uh, dashboard and torsion spring and the uh, input is uh, torque and output is angular displacement in terms of theta we represent so tj tb tk these are all the opposing forces uh, expressed by the elements basic elements so so sim on similar to that uh, mechanical translation system uh, the j is, i mean the inertia is exposing uh, this amount of torques i mean j into t square theta by d theta d square theta by dt square and this is the the torque opposed by the dash part b into t theta by dt this is torque Uh, opposed by the spring element okay okay so this is the problem statement write the differential equations governing by the mechanical system given below this is the system given by the problem itself and uh, determine the transfer function theta of s divided by t of s okay let's see the system the system is having two inertia elements j1 j2 so there are two differential differential equations will be there okay so with the help of these two differential equations only we need to uh, determine the transfer function equation okay so there are two j elements are there so this is input torque t applied torque at j1 node there will be an angular displacement theta 1 will be there and this is all two double end elements that connecting both inertia i mean spring and dash parts are the two double end elements available in this problem and uh, this is the dash part connected only with the inertia j2 and this is having in this node there there will be a displacement called theta okay they are asking the uh, transfer function i mean they mentioned this Um, theta of s divided by t of s we need okay so what it means the input and output okay the output is nothing but theta of s input is nothing but t of s okay so you need to consider this is the input what we are applying this is the place what we are getting the output okay this is the output angular displacement okay let's draw the free body diagram of the uh, system based on j1 okay so this is the free body diagram okay you can see that this is the free body diagram based on j1 so in this particular node we are applying the torque t and we are getting the angular displacement theta 1 there will be an opposing torque due to this j1 that is d j1 there will be an two opposing torques due to this double end elements like spring and dash parts so tk and tb12 Okay, I am using different colors because these are all double end elements. So we need to use some different formulas for these two terms. Okay, so let's uh, write the torque equation uh, by referring the Newton's law of motion. Sum of input torque is equal to sum of opposing torques. So this is the torque equation. Okay, applied torque T is equal to T J one plus T K plus T B one two. This T K and T B one two will be the double end element so we need to use some different formula so i have mentioned by underlying these two terms so this is the differential equation okay t equal to j1 into t square theta 1 divided by dt square plus k into theta 1 minus theta plus b1 to d by dt of theta 1 minus theta theta uh, this is this is uh, these two terms are uh, the common elements okay i mean double end elements that is connecting uh, that is connected between j1 and j2 we are writing the equation with respect to the ma, uh, inertia j1 okay so the angular displacement difference of displacement should be theta 1 minus theta okay uh, at the same time if you are writing the differential equation based on j2 means we need to mention theta minus theta 1 okay right now this is the equation okay we are just uh, we write the equation like t into uh, j1 theta square d, d square theta 1 divided by d square, dt square plus k into theta 1 minus k theta plus b12 b12 d theta 1 divided by dt minus b12 d theta by dt let's rearrange this equation we will get 
the differential equation this is the first differential equation okay equation number 1 okay just i am rearranging this um, terms and we are getting this equation okay just uh, i am writing theta 1 as first terms and the remaining theta terms are mentioned and as take a second term okay so now take the laplace transform okay so while taking the laplace transform t will be t of s j1 will be j1 the same one and t square will be s square theta 1 will be theta 1 of s b12 d by dt is s theta 1 of s k theta 1 of s minus k theta of s minus b12 s theta of s okay so you can see the beauty of taking laplace transform now okay so before taking the laplace transform the the we, we are not supposed to simplify this equation okay after taking because the the equation is having both algebraic and differential terms we are we are not able to simplify the equation but after taking this laplace transform see you can simplify you can easily group the terms because all the terms are getting changed as algebraic terms so it is very easy to process so i am taking theta 1 of s as common from these terms okay and obtaining this and i am taking uh, theta of s as common from these two terms i am getting this equation okay k plus b12 s in theta of s okay what we need is actually we need um, we need to find what theta of s divided by t of s okay so you can you can see that from this is equation number 2 i mean laplace transform of differential first differential equation okay so this equation is having both t of s and theta of s okay we no need we know we don't need theta 1 of s so theta 1 of s we need to reframe the second differential equation in this order i mean theta 1 of s in terms of theta of s we need to bring the equation and we need to substitute uh, substitute this equation here so the whole equation will be will be transformed as a function of theta of s and we can rearrange it we will bring the equation like theta of s divided by theta t of s okay this is what we are going to do now so let's draw the free body diagram of uh, the system which is based on j2 okay so this is the free body diagram okay so this is the free body diagram of our system okay based on mass 2 we are we are, we are drawing this diagram okay see this is the uh, inertia 2 not not mass 2 this is inertia 2 this is the angle of displacement theta it is nothing but that opposing torque tj2 this is opposing torque tb see here one dash part is available so this is opposing torque due to tb these two torques i mean these two uh, opposing torques is due to tk and tb12 i am i am underlining these two parameters because these two terms are the double element parameters okay so this is the torque equation in this note zero equal to there is no applied torque over there so zero equal to there will be an opposing torques like tj2 plus tb plus tk plus tb12 okay now this is the <coughs> exact equations okay i mean the opposing torque equations we are substituting the opposing torques value over here uh, the, in this note there will be an angular displacement called theta so i am using theta as a main notation and tb and tb12 okay the opposing torques on double end elements uh, while writing the equation for these two terms we need to take care of writing the angular displacement i mean difference of this angular displacement this equation is written and uh, this equation being written for uh, on the basis of j2 is it not so what we need to do is we need to take the difference as we need to take the difference as theta minus theta 1 and also uh, yeah we are referring based on mass to uh, inertia 2 is it not so we need to take the angular displacement difference as theta minus theta 1 plus b12 into t by dt of theta minus theta 1 so this is the differential equation what we are getting now so zero equal to j2 d square theta divided by dt square plus b d theta by dt plus k theta minus k theta 1 plus b12 d theta by dt minus b12 d theta 1 by dt this is what we are obtaining okay now 
what we need to do is this is the uh, objective we we need to do okay now just reframe the equation okay. this is the equation what we are obtained obtained so now i'm i'm just i'm just rewriting the equation just um theta on one side theta one or another side likewise i'm just rewriting the equation i am telling this is equation number 3 and also this is our second differential equation okay so let's take the laplace transform over here this is the result of after taking the laplace transform this is the result i mean j2 x square s square theta of s plus b s theta of s plus b 1 2 s theta of s plus k theta of s minus k theta 1 of s minus b 1 2 s theta 1 of s okay and uh, i am i am just rearranging the terms okay just see zero equal to some function into t of theta of s minus some function into theta 1 of s okay we just we just plan to bring this equation okay i mean theta 1 of s some function of theta of s okay so if you are taking this equation if you are if you are bringing this equation and you can substitute over here the whole equation will be some function of theta of s okay so that is what we are going to do now okay so from this equation i am taking and I, i mean i am i am writing the theta of s equation like this okay you can see theta 1 of s is equal to okay theta 1 of s is equal and equal to the whole term is getting movement on left side and this particular k plus b12 of s is coming in the denominator the whole term divided by denominator k plus b12 of s this is the equation for theta 1 of s okay so let's substitute this theta 1 of s in this second equation okay what you are getting is okay I think this visible now yeah yes okay so i am going to substitute this value here the result will be okay this is the result okay i think this is visible now okay this is the this is the equation what i am substituting here so this is the parameter already available in our second equation this is the equation substituted by now and my minus these two terms are available here okay so from these two terms i am taking theta one theta of s is common okay while taking theta i am and also taking i am i am taking lcm over there and i am taking theta of s is common we need to find theta of s divided by t of s is it not just rearranging the equation i am getting this as an answer okay theta of s divided by t of s equal to this term will get moved into numerator k k plus b12 s the whole divided by j1 s square plus b12 s plus k into j2 s square plus b plus b12 s plus k minus k plus b12 s whole square this is the transfer function of the given system thank you